Hello, I have some pennies here. You like pennies, and I like pennies. You can buy things with pennies. You can't buy too much, but you can buy some things. If you have enough of them, you can buy what you want. So I thought we'd talk about pennies, and we'd play a game associated with pennies, and I call this the penny math game. We're going to learn some arithmetic, also called mathematics, by using pennies. And it's pretty simple to play, at least at the beginning. So I thought maybe you would like to play with me, see how much you can learn about some numbers, and what we can learn also about counting pennies. I don't know if you know all of the numbers. You may know how to count. You probably do. And maybe you know the symbols that the numbers use, symbols that stand for each of the numbers. And we're going to go into that today so you'll get an idea of how to play the penny game. So let's start. This penny we'll call the first penny. That's penny number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine pennies. And we're going to show a few tricks associated with pennies. It's pretty easy to learn. So let's first of all move a couple of them over here to the side, out of the way. We'll just initially go with four pennies. Now this penny, the first penny, it looks like this one, which looks like this one, which looks like this one. They're individuals, but they are so much alike that we'll just count them as being the same. One penny. So if we take my marker here, and this is called a dry marker, and you may have a pencil, I hope you do, or a piece of paper, but whatever you do, don't do what I do. Don't draw on the desk. I have a very special desk here with the dry marker, which is a very special form of marker. And so it's real easy for me to make marks on the desk. I'll show you how it works. So it's a nice, nice desk. See the X? And all I have to do is take this eraser, and I go like this, and the X disappears. So it's safe for me to write on the desk, but it's not safe for you to write on the desk, but you can write on your piece of paper or whatever your teacher has given you. So let's begin with the pennies. This is penny number one. So if I'm going to make a mark symbolizing one, how do I do it? Real simple. It's just a straight line. That's a one. You probably know this, but some people don't. And so I want everybody to have the same opportunity to learn, so we're going to go through the basic numbers. Now this is penny number two. So the symbol for two looks like this. So we've got symbol for one and symbol for two. And whenever we see two, we think of one, two pennies, or one, two, whatever else we're numbering. How about three? That's penny number three, and that's the symbol for three. That's the number three. And then look at this one. That's penny number four, and the symbol for four looks like that. So if there's a penny here, that's the first. We call it penny number one, penny number two, penny number three, and penny number four. Now let's try this. Say that I take this penny over here, and I take this penny over here. Now this is penny number one, penny number two, penny number three, and penny number four. So because we call them the same in terms of their value, each one's worth a penny, and each one is called a penny, Sometimes we call them one cent, but that's 
kind of tricky. Let's just call it penny. Because we have a penny that's set up for us here, and it's the first penny, penny number one, we know that the symbol is one, two, three, and four pennies. Now let's pull in some more pennies. We'll bring this down here like this. And we have this one up here. We'll pull this in like this. Pull this in like this. And we'll pull this in like this. Now, which numbers do we have? Penny number one, penny number two, penny number three, penny number four. So what do we call this penny? This is penny number five. So we put in the number five, which is the symbol for five. And what about this one? If that's penny number five, then what penny is this? Penny number six. And then what is this penny? That is penny number seven. One more here, penny number eight. So we have one more penny all by itself, so we'll bring it down to here. And which penny is that? Penny number nine. So have you got it clear what we're calling each of the pennies? Penny number one, penny number two, penny number three, penny number four, penny number five, penny number six, penny number seven, penny number eight, and our last penny is penny number nine. So each of the pennies is laid out, and the pennies each correspond to a number. So we have a total of nine pennies, and we have a number for each of these pennies. Now I get to take my wonderful eraser and wipe it away like this, like that. Whoa! And then we can wipe this away like this. And everything is pretty clean. Isn't that right? That's because I have a wonderful kind of desk that lets me write on it without making a permanent mess. But don't ever write on anything where it's going to make a permanent mess because you don't want a permanent mess. You want one that wipes away. Now let's take these two pennies over here. We'll just put them over to the side. And we're going to show you just a couple of things that I want you to remember about the pennies. This is penny number one, and penny number two. That's penny number three, that's penny number four. Do you remember that? One, two, three, four pennies. So how many is the total? One, two, three, four. How many all added up? That is four pennies.